Sí, ya, ya, ya tengo todos los documentos. Sí, sí. Good morning, Internet. It is uh, 12 past 7 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Welcome here in uh, Quito, Ecuador. And today is kind of an important day and also a day that I have no idea how it's going to unfold. Because today I'm going to try to cross the border into Colombia. And the border situation is uh, very similar to when I crossed from Zimbabwe back into South Africa because Ecuador is pretty much still closed but Colombia is open so the question is is Ecuador gonna let me out or not there really is only one way to find out and that is just to go there and see so that's uh, what I'm gonna do today I had originally my route that I planned to get to the border was to first do a little bit of off-road through some mountains and then continue to the border it was a nice plan but i changed my mind and i was like you know what i'm gonna go straight to the border and then see i say let's go straight for the goal and uh, see what happens at the border Well, the weather is pretty dubious to ride somewhere in the mountains anyway. If it's in the clouds, then uh, I can't see anything. now in Otavalo. I remember this place. I was here when I uh, came to Ecuador the first time 10 years ago. I was backpacking and I, I know that I came here. <laughs> so this time I'm just uh, passing through. I am almost at the border but the customs office seems to be somewhere this side. So let's see uh, how that works. This is the Aduana del Ecuador, but it seems closed. What does this say? But, uh, you have to show that you're vaccinated. Yes, but how do you get in there? Sure. Not sure about the whole customs part now. This road just goes to the border. Oh, there's the line already. Line of trucks. Let's see. Where do I need to go first? This is migration. Well, I can barely believe it, but that went very smooth. They didn't ask me any questions. They just stamped my passport and then they took in the temporary import permit at the customs they kept the paper so I was like but how am I going to prove now that it's sorted he's like oh you don't you can just now cross the bridge which is uh, the actual border I think I think that was the biggest hurdle because Colombia is open 
So Colombia shouldn't be the problem. Only getting out of Ecuador. So now that that is done, I think it's going to be easy, I guess. See, I can already see the sign Colombia. It's no checkpoint, nothing. It's a bit weird. Very strange border situation. But okay, I guess I'm halfway now, halfway the bridge. That's good. Sí, ya, ya, ya tengo todos los documentos. Sí, sí. That's a bit confusing. I don't know, they already sent me out, so can't really go back now, can I? You see? Hola. Disculpe. Sí, sí. ¿Quiere mi pasaporte? ¿Holandesa? Sí. No, pero habla bien en español. Ah, más o menos. <ríe> Adentro de las oficinas de inmigración se da la entrada. Ya, yeah. ok, gracias. We're still good, we're still good. Now we need to get a Colombian stamp and uh, temporary imports for Alaska. Not sure. Yeah, migración, yeah. Ah, yeah, gracias. Okay, we are again one step closer. <laughs> I got finally stamped into Colombia in my passport. And then I thought, okay, let's just do the temporary importation of Alaska. And that turns out to be an absolute mission. This is the strangest system ever. I've never encountered this before, but I have to do it myself. <laughs> so, they were like, yeah, we don't do that. So you, you got to do it yourself. Um, but you need to go online and fill in forms and stuff. So now I got to find like a computer. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know I'm going against traffic. I know. But they told me over there is a computer with the internet. And then I have to do all the paperwork myself online somewhere. It's so weird. Hola. Puedo usar un computadora. No. 
No, ¿Dónde hay otra parte aquí que le colaboran a la... ¿Dónde? ¿Cuál, Harold? No, un comput una computadora para... Aquí no. Aquí no. Looks like the traffic policeman find me a computer. Where did he go? Ah, there. Buenas. ¿Tú vas a hacer el formulario de importación del vehículo para sí. el acá en Colombia? ¿Ya hiciste el proceso migratorio? Sí. ¿Entrada a Colombia? Sí. Okay. Permíteme eh, licencia, tarjeta de propiedad del vehículo, proceso migratorio y tu cédula. I am sorted. Took a very long time, <laughs> but I think we're there. Por aquí, no? No. Aquí. Okay. Gracias. Chao. Hola. Buenas, ¿cómo está? Bien. <risa> Por fin. Por fin. Pero, pero le toca esperar un momento porque hay dos, dos personas adelante suyo. Ahorita, ahorita, revisa, ahorita que le revisa el funcionario, ¿listo? El funcionario le revisa. Adiós. Chao. You're not going to believe how long this took. It is now, it's now 20 past four, and I was here at 11. So it almost took five and a half hours. And most of it was all just this last bit with the temporary import permit for Alaska, which was an absolute dog show. <laughs> and I'll tell you what happened, but first let's see if, if this is it now. I think I'm in, there's no more checkpoint, nothing. I think I can say, welcome to Colombia! <laughs> yes, I'm so happy. I'm in. But oh, it was, it was, to be honest, it was quite ridiculous. This is the first time that I've ever crossed the country in which the customs basically say, you know, you just do your own temporary import of your motorcycle. And You just don't know how, how to do it, you know? So then basically what happens is that there's this guy and he does it for everybody and you pay him $12 and he does it for you and makes copies of all your papers. And then it went to their system and then they couldn't find it. And I have to do it all again. And uh, it's just really strange to me that a customs basically says, you know, whatever sort out your own paperwork <laughs> so weird but anyway um, the main thing is is that I am in Colombia which I am super happy with um, the only thing what I have to do first is um, get the buy a SOAT which is a local insurance and I wanted to buy it at the border but um, there was no electricity so I couldn't buy it at the border Uh, but there's one place here in town where I can also buy it. I'm now in Ipialis and um, somewhere at a square there is a supermarket and there they also sell this uh, SOAT insurance. They told me at the border and uh, that's the only other place apparently where I could get it. It's not that they sell it in every supermarket in the country, only right here at the border. So. I shouldn't miss that uh, supermarket to buy my insurance. Oh, 
It's very busy here, wow. This is another plaza. Oh, we're doing a little bit of sightseeing at Ipialis then. Wasn't my intention, but uh, hey. Wow, what is going on here that it's so busy in town? Unbelievable. I think I might have to come back here tomorrow because um, if it's so busy, I don't know how safe it is to uh, park Alaska with all my things on her somewhere while I go into this supermarket to buy this uh, insurance. Let me get out of here. Okay, ah, it's here. This is the supermarket. Right. Looks proper busy. Don't know where I can park safely as well. Nowhere. Yeah, I'll have to come back another day. It's only seven kilometers to uh, where I was hoping to stay the night. So uh, it's not far. Wow, what a nice place to start the journey through Colombia. Absolutely gorgeous around here. Hola. Puedo pasar? Sí. Sí? Okay. Se va a hospedar o para un momento nomás? Sí, fui a buscar un hotel. Sí. Okay, muy bien. Let me see. It's very busy. I hope I can find a place to stay for tonight. Busco una habitación. Ya no hay. Ah, conoce otro lugar. Otro lugar, sí. Por acá arriba. Puede bajar por aquí. Por allá hay dos. Bajar, bajar. Para acá, no? no baja las gradas, ah, okay, gracias. Yeah, I was already a little bit worried about that, seeing how super busy it is here. Hola, eh, hospedaje. Hay habitación. Ah, muy bien. Sí, está bien. Sí. Right, let's pick up Alaska. It is it is raining in Colombia as well. Hopefully it will be dry soon. Um, Alaska got some premium parking last night. She got to spend the night inside a garage. Had to pay two dollars. I was like, you know what? Let me do that. And I will sleep better as well. Um, anyway, I'm gonna pick her up now and then. Uh, Right back to Ipialis and get that uh, insurance sorted. Buenos días. Bien, gracias. ¿Y usted? Sí. ¿Sí? Ah, es el mismo problema que ayer. <laughs> Last night we also had to move this car because Alaska is inside this garage here. <laughs> and now it seems that we have the same problem. There she is. <laughs> okay. Well, it just uh, stopped raining. As I put my rain jacket on, of course. <laughs> Let's get this uh, paper stuff sorted. I am back at the Square. I think I'm just gonna put Alaska on the pavement there. I don't really know where else to put her. Up 
here. Para comprar soat. Aquí, gracias. Hola. Ah, me gustaría comprar soat. No te I'm not making a lot of progress like this. They don't sell soat to foreigners. I have no idea, but uh, she's like, no can do. You have to go back to the border to do it. <laughs> well, and if that's one place I don't really want to go back to, it's the border. But I have to, right? And then hopefully, this time they have power so they can do it. Otherwise, I honestly don't know um, what to do about that one. Well, it is a nice square, I have to say. Surprise, surprise, I am back. Back again at the border, luckily it's only a few kilometers. Let me see, I need to be over there. Looks closed to so what shop. Hola. Para comprar soat. Soat. Oh, the border definitely looks close, close, close to me now. Not sure. Looks like I just slipped through yesterday. Yeah. All right. I now have to follow these guys in this uh, car in front of me to uh, do that insurance thing. I have to pay fifty dollars for one month uh, insurance, which seems very steep to me. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm being ripped off, maybe not, but uh, right now that's the only way that I can actually get an insurance. Okay. Yeah. Ah, see here's a sign, Aki, Aki Susoat. So, let's see then. Yeah. Bueno. Finally, I have it sorted. I have my insurance. And uh, as I suspected, um, he way overcharged me. It turned out to be about 50,000 pesos. And he just made that into $50. But that's overcharging me three and a half times. <laughs> Which is, come on, is a little bit too much. Um, so when I pointed it out to him, um, he lowered the price, which was nice. Anyway, most important thing is that I have the insurance. Oh, wait, I'm going wrong. Sí, ya tengo parqueado, gracias. Home sweet home. Hola. Aquí? Ya. Yeah. So I actually came to this place, Las Lajas, to show you this incredible church right here. So what they say is that in 1754, there was a woman and her daughter and they were looking for shelter here in this gorge from a terrible storm when the woman felt a force pulling her to look up to the rocks and she saw an image of the Virgin Mary. And while she saw that image, her daughter was cured from her inability to speak and to hear. Um, so that's why 
after that miracle, they built this church here. So let's see if we can get a more of a frontal view. Incredible, right? So they first had to build a whole construction right across the gorge and then they built the church right on top there. Amazing. Because the gorge just goes on through there. Pretty amazing sight, right? I gotta say. Anyway, that was it for today. Uh, what an ordeal. But everything is sorted. I'm in Colombia and that's the most important thing. So that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and then I'll see you in the next video.